Greetings of the day. My name is Anupama Pandey. One zero one eight zero six zero double seven, and uh, I am from Electronics and Communication branch. I have opted for research capstone project, and my mentor for this project is Dr. Bharat Garg. The topic that I have chosen for this capstone project is the analysis of digital designs using memristors. So I'll start with the problem statement. So. the modern computer architecture community is continually pushing the limits of performance speed and efficiency but lately the traditional cmos technology has proved to be difficult to satisfy this endeavor therefore exploration of alternatives to the standard practices was required and that's where the memristors came into the picture according to moore's law memristor bridges the capability gaps that electronics will face in the near future but what is memristor For a very long period of time, the circuitry world had known three fundamental circuit elements: the resistor, capacitor, and the inductors, which were defined by the relationship between two or four the, of the fundamental circuit elements, which is current, voltage, charge, and flux. But there was a missing link between flux and charge, which in nineteen seventy one was discovered by Leon Chua, called the memristors, the memory resistors. they have the ability to change their resistance value while retaining the knowledge of their current and the past resistances what motivated me towards this was that the memristors solved half of the problems that uh, were faced during using the cmos technology and redesigning of the circuits to incorporate memristors makes it possible to obtain the same functions with lesser number of components which also consumes less power and provides lesser delay in comparison to the traditional circuits until 2008 memristor was just a theoretical concept and it was in 2008 when hp research labs realized that the uh, resistance between conducting and less conducting state in the metal oxide thin film devices was showing the memristor behavior since then the field has rapidly grown and has been a huge amount of work in this area as you can see the graph showing the exponential growth in the publication since 2008 So, memristor has a variety of applications such as digital memory, neural networks, analog electronics, programmable logic, and signal processing. But the primary focus of my study remained on the arithmetic unit designs based on the memristors. They are explored and investigated from the perspective of a circuit designer. I have come across six major design approaches used for the arithmetic design, which is the imply logic material implication logic the mad logic which is the memristor as drivers the mrl logic which is memristor ratio logic the threshold gates logic the ulg mrl logic and the magic logic which is uh, memristor aided logic and based on these designs approaches i have prepared a comparative analysis of memristor based designs so this table gives me uh, gives us the comparative analysis for memristor based boolean gates in terms of delay and it is clearly evident that the mad gate provides better latency or throughput than the other approaches this is the comparative analysis for memristor based logic gates in terms of their components and uh, here also the mad gate provides improved complexity when compared to the imply logics but they need more components for or and and operations compared to the hybrid cmos designs but lesser for the other gates similarly uh, here is the comparative analysis for one bit adder designs and uh, even though the mrl design performs better than the imply designs in terms of performance it takes up way more than uh, way more area than the imply designs which is a drawback the semi parallel and semi serial designs provides an edge over the conventional serial designs on the performance basis and uh, in a similar manner the comparative analysis of ripple carry adder designs uh, carry look ahead designs and uh, carry select adder designs were also done the comparative analysis of uh, shift and add multiplier was also done in which we got to know that the hybrid uh, cmos design has a greater delay than cmos design for large n and the mad design offers best delay results fo followed by the threshold gate approach 
all in all ma we came to know that mad is the better approach to be used for designing arithmetic des uh, units some of the simulation results were here uh, it is the pinched hysteresis loop of the iv characteristics of the memristor this is the mrl based and an or gate where blue and green colored signal represents the inputs v1 and v2 and that of the orange color represents output v3 it is uh, the next figure represents the memristor based full adder circuit it shows the waveform where v1 v2 and cn are the inputs of the circuit and sum and carry are the output of the circuit it consisted of two xor and uh, two and and one or gate here is the ulg circuit the pink and green color signal above represents the input signals below is the signal in the red blue and pink represent the or and an xor signal the next figure represents the four bit carry look ahead adder uh, designed using the mrl approach and uh, ci is form of the lowest bit carry and b3 and b0 b3 to b0 is consistent with a3 to a0 a0 vs3 to vs0 are the output sum from the highest bit to the lowest bit and vc0 is the highest bit carry similarly the simulation of uh, simulation results of 3 bit binary encoder 3 bit bin, uh, 3 bit binary decoder and 4 bit numeric numeric comparator is also presented and the relationship uh, between the input and output of all signals is consistent with the truth table so that was it thank you